teacher, teacher, how do I fix my iPad? I get this question 20 times a day, and I basically always give three responses of ways to fix your iPad. I'm going to show you how to do these in a quick video right now. Step one that you would do is you're going to close the app down. Um, let's pretend that this dictionary.com app is not working. So it keeps crashing on me all of a sudden. What you'll do is you'll either hit the home button, double click the only button on the iPad basically, or you take four fingers and you swipe up. When you swipe up, you'll see all the apps that are open. For many people, they'll have lots of apps open. I would go and suggest that you close down all the apps, but at the very least, close down the one that's giving you problems. To do that, you just swipe them away. On iOS, iOS 6, the app will be on the bottom of the screen. Kind of looks a little bit like this. You hold it down until they start shaking, and then you hit the little X. Once that happens, if you click on the, diction on the app again, the dictionary.com app, if it still crashes, then you need to go to the next step. The next step I would say is to restart the iPad. Restarting the iPad is very simple. All you do is you hold down the only two buttons on the iPad. You hold down the power button and you hold down the home button. And you do that until the Apple shows up. When the Apple shows up, you can release the button. What's gonna happen is your iPad's going to restart. Now that you see that my iPad is restarted, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to click open the app. If it continues to crash, you have to move on to step three. Step three is simply holding down the app until a little X appear, all the apps shake, and you're gonna delete the app off the iPad and re-download it with the App Store. If those three things do not work, I'm afraid that there's probably a bigger issue that someone else will have to help you with, maybe a teacher. You might have to email the app company to see if their app isn't working. It might be an issue with Apple and whatever operating system that they're running. But if you do those three steps, you should be able to solve 99% of your iPad's problems. Thank you.